follow me through. Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Hey, Miss Laura. Hi, Miss Linda. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, I haven't seen Ollie around. Where is he? <gasps> oh! Oh, he's oh. inside. <laughs> Ollie and I were running through the sprinkler oh, outside because like, it's so warm. That sounds like so there much fun. Is. Hi, Ollie. There he is. Ooh, and ooh. he is all dry. You kept him yes, all dry. Yes, I kept him all dry. Hi, little fella. How are you? <laughs> yeah. We have a great day planned today in the oh, Wonder Clubhouse. It's going to be so much fun. I love the Wonder Clubhouse. Don't you, Ollie? <gasps> yeah. I hear today there's going to be a snack basket. I love Hungry. snacks. I do too. I want a snack right now. <laughs> Ooh. Miss Linda? Yes. Who's got it? <gasps> God's got it. That's right. God's got it. That's right. So whenever you're sad, mm -hmm. who's got it? God's got it. Whenever you're happy, who's got it? God's got it. That's right. God's got it whether we're happy or sad. Hey, let's try the Bible verse. Okay. Oh, I'm to put my ooh. umbrella down. Put your umbrella down. Find a good place to put Mr. Ollie. All right. That's a good spot. All right. I'm ready. All right. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. You guys learned. We learned it last week. This is week number two. So I think you're going to get it. Here we go. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9. I'm learning it. You did it. You're pretty good. Let's try it again. Okay. I'm going to say it with you and not just do it. All right. You say, be, it. Okay. say it out loud. Okay. Here we go. God, God is, is with, with you wherever, wherever you, you go. go. Joshua 1 9. Nine. I did it. I said that it was and I acted excellent. Out. Excellent. <laughs> hey, mom and dad, send me a picture <gasps> of the kids doing the Bible verse. Oh, that's Ms. a good Jensen. idea. Miss Jensen knows how to do her Bible <gasps> verses. Oh. Oh, Gigi, send me a picture with Miss Jensen doing her Bible I verse. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> All what? right. Our story in the clubhouse, we're going to go see Mr. Luis today, <gasps> and he's going to tell our story. It's about our friend Moses, Ooh. when he was just a little baby. A little baby? Just like little baby Ollie. <laughs> Ollie was a baby. Yeah. It's got Miriam, his sister. It's got the princess of Egypt Ooh. in it. It's a great story. Oh, I can't wait to hear it's it. It's a great story. All right. So, remember your Bible verse, and remember who's got it. God's, God's got, got it. it. We'll see you next week, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.
know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. made it. Hello there, friends. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Lucy. I am so excited to see you today. I can't believe it's still raining outside, but I'm not letting that slow me down. I decided to do something very special inside since I can't go outside and play. Do you want to see what I did? I made a yummy to the tummy rainy day snack basket. Now, any of our friends that come and visit the clubhouse today can have a delicious snack to brighten up this rainy day. Who doesn't love snacks? We've got muffins, apple slices, fruit snacks, and cheese sticks. These are all of my favorite snacks to share. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? A basket of snacks you've got there, do you? Hi, Ollie. Yes, I sure do. I thought I'd do something special for any of our friends that come and visit the clubhouse in the rain. They can reach into this basket and get out a snack. Snacks are special. It's true. But baskets can hold more than snacks, too. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. That should just about do it. Hola, friends. I'm Luis. It's been raining all morning. But now that it's stopped, I can finally work on my project. Oh. But you're here for a story. Do you want to help me build it? Ha <laughs> ha, great. Okay, let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. Okay, you can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. There we go. Now, our true story from the Bible begins in a place called Egypt. Oh, look, it's a baby and his mom. <laughs> Mothers love their babies and take care of them. This baby's name was Moses. Oh, see how much his mom loves him. But the mean Pharaoh in charge of all of Egypt had made a rule. He said that baby boys like Moses had to be taken away. Everyone say, oh no! Ready? Oh no! Baby Moses' mom did not want him to be taken away, but she knew God would take care of him. First, Moses' mom made a special basket. Then she gently laid him in the basket. Now, pretend you're holding a baby. Now put him gently in the basket. Oh, great job. Moses' mom took the basket down to the river. Moses' sister, Miriam, went too. They hid baby Moses in the tall reeds by the river. Moses' mom trusted that God's got it and that God would take care of her baby. So she left him hidden in the reeds. Moses' sister, Miriam, stayed to watch and see what would happen. Hmm. Let's help her watch, okay? Everyone, look around. Keep looking. Do you see anything? Oh, oh. <laughs> it's a frog. <laughs> okay, let's keep looking. Huh? What? You see someone? Oh, wow. 
It's a princess. Ooh, the princess of Egypt. Uh-oh, Baby Moses is crying. Do you think she's going to help? Oh, she is. She is going to help. The princess decided she would take Baby Moses home with her. Just then, Moses' sister Miriam popped up and asked the princess if she needed someone to help her take care of the baby. The princess said yes, and Miriam went to get someone. Hmm, can you guess who she brought to help? Oh, it was Moses' mother. Yay! Moses' mother got to take care of him again. What an amazing story! And what you need to know is that just like God took care of baby Moses, he will always take care of you. He's always with you, so you don't ever have to worry because God's got it. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. It's all true. God took care of Moses, and he will take care of you too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, I loved that story. God took such good care of Moses in the basket, and God takes care of all of us too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm taking care of my friends with this basket. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9